really happy to be here sitting in the Golden State Building Memorial Plaza behind the historic Golden State Mutual Life Insurance Building. Amazing history on many, many levels. The building was opened in 1949 and it was a significant accomplishment for the African American community. It was the headquarters for the Golden State Mutual Life Insurance Company that had been started several decades earlier by a businessman named William Nickerson. And he soon teamed up with two other businessmen, Norman Houston and George Beavers, because they saw a need to sell life insurance to predominantly the African-American community. Because at that time, in the 1920s, 1930s, African-Americans were not able to purchase life insurance. They saw a business need and they filled it by starting this company. They started their first business in the 1920s. They opened the first office in 1928. And then they were able to build in 1949 this flagship building designed by the preeminent African-American architect, Paul Revere Williams. So this building was designated a historic cultural monument in 2011. The murals in the building were also an important part of the history. From the very beginning, the Golden State Mutual Life Insurance valued art. So they commissioned two prominent African American artists, Hale Woodruff and Charles Austin, to do a mural that would depict the history of African Americans in California. When the building was designated in 2011, the insurance company was in bankruptcy. And there was a real need for the people that were receiving the building, including the state of California, to liquidate as many assets as possible. And the state of California viewed those murals as an asset. And they wanted to remove them from the building so that they could sell them. A representative of the state of California came before our commission to argue that the murals were not an integral part of the building. But we knew that the murals had been painted onto the walls of the building. There are doors that go through the murals. So it was clear to us that they were an integral part, not only of the building, but of the history of the building. So the murals are intact. They're in the building. They've been beautifully restored. So it was a real win for the preservation of the murals. Buildings that are designated as historic can be adaptively reused, as the example of the Golden State Building here. It's no longer an insurance company, but it's serving a new need to serve people with developmental disabilities. There's many examples all over the city. So that I don't want to give the impression that we're here to just preserve things and keep them static, that they don't change. Our mission is to preserve the history of the spaces, not necessarily the uses of the spaces, because those places will tell our history.